Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, I am going to show you the changes and improvements in the dev channel of Windows 11 Insider Preview, version 24H2, build 26120.1542, KB5041872. So, without further ado, let's begin. Microsoft is beginning to roll out a new position for the widget entry point on left align taskbars. The taskbar entry point will move to the left of the system's tray, and will be wider, so you can see richer content from widgets on your taskbar. When you launch the widgets board, it will fly out from the right side, instead of the left side. The taskbar is now updated to support first letter navigation, so when keyboard focus is set to the taskbar when you press Windows plus T, you can press a letter, and it will jump to the open or pinned app, whose name starts with that letter. Pressing the letter multiple times will jump to the subsequent app, which starts with that letter, if there are multiple apps for that letter. For those using the uncombined taskbar, rather than app name, the first letter navigation will use window name. Along with this, pressing home and end will now move keyboard focus to the first and last items in the taskbar. Windows 11's camera settings page will be getting an advanced camera configuration section, with two new options, a multi-app camera and a basic mode for debugging. These settings are disabled by default in the dev channel, and will soon be rolled out for all the insiders. There are some fixes in this update like, fixed an issue causing text suggestions for the hardware keyboard to not work properly. Fixed an issue causing the emoji panel to close when trying to switch to the cowmoji and symbol sections, or after selecting an emoji. Fixed an issue in Registry Editor, where when editing a D word or Q word, if you paste it in a hex value into the text box and saved it, the value saved might not be the one you had entered. Fixed an issue where adding additional languages or optional features might fail with error, 0 by 800 F081F, in the last few flights. There are some known issues in this build like, this update adds to the list of drivers that are at risk for bring your own vulnerable driver attacks. You cannot choose a group from the target domain for ILT, also, you cannot choose an account from local users and groups. The forest does not appear. This issue occurs when you deploy multiple forests, and the target domain has a one-way trust with the domain of the admin. This issue affects enhanced security admin environment, hardened forests, or privileged access management deployments. This update removes NetJoin legacy account reuse registry key. On USB controllers, the share button might not work with game bar. After you restart your PC, graphic allocation creation might fail. Because of this, the virtual machine and container are not as reliable as you expect. This update hardens DNS server security to address CVE 2024-37968. If the configurations of your domains are not up to date, you might get the server fail error, or timeout. The PowerShell and VB script stops you from using Windows Update Agent APIs in your scripts. A firmware update might fail, if you turn on BitLocker. Windows Insiders joining the dev channel on PCs running Windows 11, version 24H2, will see repair version noted next to the latest dev channel build from Windows Update. This is nothing to worry about, as all it means is that an in-place upgrade will happen to update your PC, to the latest build in the dev channel. Navigating between different pages of the task manager, may crash the task manager. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.